Good morning, everyone. Uh, just want to work on my uh, Lovebird mini uh, mini quilt. Let's call it a mini quilt. Very mini. <laughs> I don't want to call it a runner. But yes. Uh, oh, that, but I really went to the store for, <laughs> for my Lovebird project. So let's Take a look and see what we have found. Now this thread, that's my other problem. Since my birds have so much different colors, I thought that, um, I'm trying to go with black. Since I don't have to applique it down, I already did the heat and bond applique, um, heat and bond for the applique birds. So my next step was to just try to get a thread. I thought this was interesting to do the heart and the word love um, to embroider it. So I think I'm just gonna basically, since this is a sample piece, this is a hundred weight thread. I don't know if it says that, can you see that? Your weight thread. Did I turn it the right way? And this one I will be using for hand appliquing um, my next project. I'm going to try to stay away from the heat and bond because it's getting a little bit too expensive every time I want to applique something with the heat and bond. So I'm just going to try my hand at. Um, the hand applique, whether it's going to be turn, under, or a different method. So I'm kind of feeling this thread here. It's black thread with little specks of blue, pink, and gold glitter in it. So I said, okay, that might go well since my birds are mainly black, but with color in them. Uh, then I have a variegated thread, black, white, and gray, black, black, what is it, silver, silver, gray, and black. Here. And then we have a blue variegated. Then a blue solid, uh, then a black shiny, oh it looked very pretty in the store so we'll see. So I think I'm just going to try a whole lot. This I bought because the background is that color, this color, I have these colors in it. So just in case I want to go light, I don't know. We'll see. And there are the two lovebirds. Applique. Finish. Now the rest, the love and the heart, um, they said the direction says it's to be embroidered. But uh, I guess I could try it on the machine and see what we get. And then I make this quilt sandwich, finish sewing up, and that's it. All the piecing is completed now. The applique, the only thing left is the embroidery heart, or whatever design that I want to do to it. And then to take that completed top and then make a quilt sandwich. Now, I wrote little R's on this when I was drawing out the applique, uh, not to confuse the size. But as you can see, I did have to switch because when, once you 
turn over your fabric to the right side, this is how you have to adhere it to your background. So just be careful of that. My instructions did come with two birds, a left and a right. But if your bird only comes with one side, then you have to remember to switch. All right, I think I'm all done with my tracing. I'm going to turn the light off. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to remove the paper from the back. Yay. Perfect. Woohoo. This is my first time doing that, using my light and my table as a light box. But it worked. Yay. All right, so now I'm just choosing my fabric to see what part of the bird, which fabric I want the bird wing or the bird body to be. So here I have a whole fabric, a fat quarter. Um, this one has some specific designs in it so I could actually place my bird body here or my bird body here depending on the colors I want. This is more black, gold, and red and over here is more blue and purple. So it just depends on where you want it. But what you are going to do, uh, here I have some homemade fat um, charm, 5 inch squares. So I could make a different color wing, I could give my bird a different color body since it's two birds. And I also, um, the proper way to do your apple, the heat and bond is you're going to iron on the reverse side of your fabric. And then you're going to, once it's um, adhered, let it cool a little bit. You peel off the, you cut, cut out the, cut your bird out. Then peel and place on your background fabric. And the background fabric is here and all set up and ready to go. Doing a do over here because when I thought I completed my corners and tried to line them up the white was touching the white in the center and that's not how it was in the diagram um, I re took another look at it and I had to cut and make the corners the nine patch with the black touching the white in the middle so I got three more to do